Closer to home, we continue to follow a story out of the district. DC police are investigating a series of break ins and an assault in one Northeast apartment building. Abby Larico is at the Avalon First and M apartment building this morning. And Abby, do police have any idea on who this person might be? No, Annie, this morning police say they are still trying to figure out not only who this person is, but where they might find this person. And this is a story that may be particularly startling for those of us who live in apartments or condo buildings or any building in which your security and safety is really so dependent on neighbors. And that's because police say they believe this suspect got into the building when a resident, someone who lived here, opened the door and let them right in. Take a look at your screens right now. We can see here on security camera footage from inside this man. Police say got into the building around 830 in the evening last Tuesday. We're told he then broke into at least three apartments in one case sexually assaulting a woman he walked in on. Now after these incidents, management sent an email to residents reminding them to lock doors and not let anyone in who isn't a resident as quote the protection of person and property is the responsibility of each resident. The company that runs the building has not responded to our inquiry. Worries, but we are hearing from people who live here. They say management isn't responding to residents either, telling us it's too easy to get in. They want existing security measures strengthened and more round the clock support. You know, how really safe is the building without 24 7 security in an area like this? It's really scary because people can tailgate really easily into buildings. We all need to be, as a neighborhood, more diligent, I guess, about looking out um, and just, you know, see something, say something. Good advice there, no matter where you live. But here's the thing. We also heard from residents. They acknowledge it can be very difficult, especially in a building with hundreds of units when there are many people coming and going rightfully, maybe doing food deliveries, guests or just residents you didn't meet. So it can be really difficult to keep an eye out for security and for one another. Reporting live from Noma this morning, Abby Larico, WUSA 9. Abby, thank you.